Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. We are camping this weekend. We're at Fall Creek Falls State Park. <laughs> There's Chloe. Hi. Tent is over there behind me. And some of the other YouTubers are here. They still came anyway, which is a good thing. Um, so this video will probably end up being a two-parter because it's probably going to be a lot of stuff because we're just getting started. Uh, we just had lunch and now I gotta go track down some ice for my cooler and we gotta go talk to people so uh. yeah you gotta be friendly for a minute <laughs> but uh, we're gonna stick the we're gonna stick I think we're gonna hang a hammock right there um, I'm gonna have a campfire tonight I got some wood I'll get some more wood and all that good stuff and tonight I'm having soup She's having some kind of noodles. <laughs> Tomorrow night I'm having a steak. She's having more noodles. <laughs> so anyway, we'll, <laughs> we've got other things we'll be bringing you. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Good morning, everybody. It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. <laughs> Chloe is warming up in my sleeping bag. She got cold last night. It got down below 40, I think around in the low 40s. So she got cold. By the way, uh, Max, if you watch this, I'm hooked. <laughs> But uh, campground's kind of quiet this morning. Got a good little fire going. And uh, it's going to be a beauty day. We may have some hot clouds, but for the most part, it's going to be a pretty day. So, Chloe wakes up. And we'll whip out some breakfast and... go from there I slept really good last night for the most part I had a couple problems but nothing I couldn't deal with but didn't realize how cold Chloe had gotten until late in the night but they overcome it it's part of it all right, I hadn't seen the deer yet. They'll be coming through. But they've been passing right through here in the evening, so we'll see what to do in the morning. And I'll be back. All right, here we are at Fall Creek Falls. We're at, let me turn this around, George Hole Day Use Area. We're gonna go down here and do a little video of the spillway and everything and uh, we'll be back in just a minute this is a gorgeous area it's a swimming hole they say do not jump off the rocks yeah that stuff but this is pretty cool but there's some fish in there there's Chloe she warmed up now She got a little cold last night. Walk over there. That's some bluffage. Ooh, 
Whoa. What's going on, everybody? All right, so we're on the scenic um, drive here at Fall Creek Falls. Highly recommend doing it. If uh, you just come up here to camp, I highly recommend the scenic drive because you get views like this all along it. And there's places to stop and actually photograph. And you'll, I'll throw in some photographs at the end of this little part and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I mean, let's see how far we can get. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see quite a bit. It's a heck of a zoom. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. Like I said, if you come to the falls, Fall Creek itself, uh, the the uh, road is to the left um, of Fall Creek Falls itself when you're at the, the observation place for Fall Creek Falls. So anyway, do the drive. It's worth it. There's lots of places you can stop and see. Uh, right up the street here will be Buzzard's Roost. Uh, like I said, I'll put those pictures in that I took today and yesterday from that. So we'll be back at some point. Well, it's been a beauty day here at Fall Creek Falls. This is the lake at Fall Creek. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think Chloe's doing some TikToks. Selfies or something. Anyway. This place is gorgeous. Well, we got some other things to do real quick. It's been a great day. Awesome day. It's been a <laughs> it's been an awesome weekend. We've met two really nice YouTubers too while we were here. I'm gonna put their channels down below. We may have a little get together later. I don't know. See see how it goes. Um, Frazier Douglas, I'm going to call him the connoisseur of car camping. Um, go check out his videos. He's got some really cool videos on, you know, camping, period, car camping. Um, really thought out stuff talking to him today. Him and his wife, great people. And then Danny over at Tennessee, TN Deerstalker, check him out. He's been here all weekend too. And we sat here what, for a good couple of hours, yeah. all of us talking, and had a great time. Uh, we had a great meal tonight, and I had a steak. She had her typical <laughs> kid food. Noodles. And um, <laughs> so, oh, check it out. We got uh, lights on the hammock. So that's about it for that one. Um, we'll be leaving here in right. the morning. There you go. Right yeah. Again, like oh. No, now you can do it up. I'm on my tiptoes now. Well, you're getting cut off. Oh, there we now go. I'm on my tiptoes. So anyway, we'll be back later. Um, I'm sure we'll have something come up. Right now we're gonna light a fire. We're gonna hang out in front of the fire pit and just chillax. That's all we've done this weekend, honestly, <laughs> is relax. And it's been well worth it. All right, hopefully it's not gonna be so cold tonight. Right? Yeah, better <laughs> not be. All right, guys, we'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, Sunday morning, we're eating a little cold breakfast, cereal and donuts. Chloe's over there, trust me, there she is. First off, I want to say, Max, thanks for the suggestion on this. That's my new go-to, the single um, bags of coffee. I like that. Um, we've had a great weekend. Been a little cool, but we've had a good weekend. Um, learned some things. Gonna um, amp up my uh, car camping stuff. 
Actually, I already have a lot of it. I just didn't bring it this time. But um, if you're going to camp like this, you might as well be comfortable 100%. So there's going to be some things added to the systems and um, going to do some things different, that kind of stuff. So anyway, I don't know that this is goodbye yet. Um, I don't know. We got to get the camp tore down. Um, but like I said, it was great meeting Frazier. I uh, picked up some tips from him already on his web or his uh, YouTube channel and his website. Go check him out. Like I said, the links will be down below. Um, but as far as the rest of it goes, guys, it's been a great weekend. And uh, we'll close this out here in a little bit for sure. All right. Later. But it's an I old scout axe. You've got a mole right oh, there. Oh, wow. What year do you think? Did he make a video? It's a very old one. Um, uh, the plum handles, the old plum handles, always had this reddish color to them. Yeah. And so I, I didn't want to throw that handle away. Normally, if it's all damaged up in here, yeah. I just cut it off and throw it away and put a new handle on it. I didn't want to throw this one away because Being that was the original, original handle. Yeah. And so I kind of worked a long time to save this one. And so the handle is shorter than it's supposed to be. I had to cut off some rotten. But it's about right as a little hatchet. Uh huh. It's. I mean, it's perfect for a little hatchet. But and, being an old Boy Scout on that. And it's got the Boy Scout. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> sweet right there. That means a lot to an old Eagle Scout. Oh really? Ah. Yeah. Well, let me show you one more thing about that. Okay. Axe. Okay. Um, and that is an original. That's the original screw wedge. Oh wow. Uh, that I removed. You can just take it out. Uh, but it's fat. It's very fat. Oh, and it goes okay. is with a taper that goes down in there. And that's the way they used to wedge it. Uh, and normally I use, uh, I think they call it a step wedge. That's what I normally use to wedge them, but I use that original. Man, that, that's wedge cool right that there. One. Now, oh, yeah. you can feel the raised part right there, mm -hmm. and that's called mushrooming. That's damage that's caused by right. using that as a hammer. Right. Because these old hatchets were not hardened back on the backside. The bit. Cons. You have any idea what, what era that one's from? Oh. Collins went out of business, I think around 1965. And, uh, and they started business in the late 1800s. Hmm. And so, boy, no. No. I'm going to say 40s or 50s. 40s or 50s. That's you what I would guess. Good seal in that though. Yeah, that's the thing is getting the steel. All right, everybody. I want to thank you for watching this video from Fall Creek Falls. I am actually home. We forgot to shoot a closing for the video, but that's all right. Um, we had a great time this weekend. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of uh, Mr. Frazier talking about his axes and hatchets and, that he had with him. Uh, he restores them and everything, so that's one of his hobbies. Really cool, really cool. Go check out his channel and go check out TN Deer Stalker Outdoors. Don't forget to check those guys out too. Um, good stuff. We had a good time. Um, it wasn't an official YouTube get together because we kind of canceled it, but there were some of us that didn't cancel our reservation, so we just said, no, what the heck, we'll go. Hopefully, we will have another one sometime in the fall, and we'll go from there. But anyway, as we like to say on here, be prepared.